sorry about that. I, <laughs> I live with uh, three guys, two dogs, and a baby. So it's very, very infrequent that I actually have a solid block of time to be able to talk. But in any case, um, just wanted to, to wrap up the, the, the Virgo and Aquarius connection. So we've talked about the challenge of the Aquarian elusiveness of the Virgo nitpickiness. Um, ah, that I remember what it was. Uh, so, so we've talked about really the biggest challenges facing this relationship. Um, we've talked about some of the the best parts of this relationship of the the intellectual connection, the focus on making the world a better place, even if they go about it in very different ways. Um, what we were busy discussing was the astronomical relationship on the zodiacal wheel. So we have Aquarius and Virgo. Now these signs are said to be in conjunct. They are not square, not semi-sextal, not trine, not opposite. In conjunct is very, um, it's not as widely known as the other aspects. And it produces a relationship that is very unique in so many ways. And again, with the partner sign energies, the opposite sign energies, this is, uh, that changes a lot. And also if uh, there's a lot of trine energies, for example, say the Virgo has a lot of Libra and the the same element trying is between two of the same elements so libra and aquarius are both air and capricorn and virgo are both earth and so if the aquarius is a lot of capricorn mercury venus even moon or whatever there will be a lot more of a simpatico feeling between these two energies but overall just focusing on the sun signs we are dealing with two energies that are are so different from each other almost the almost opposite and so opposite signs are very different in in so many ways as the name suggests but they are also so similar and in many ways they're more similar than different hence why I, I like to call them partner signs but you have these two energies that are almost opposite on the wheel so very different they're from very different seasons um, whether seen from the northern or the southern hemisphere, you have one dealing with summer, the end of summer in the northern hemisphere, Virgo, and the and one in winter, and again from the northern hemisphere, at least the perspective of Aquarius. Uh, but again, I, if you're in the south, you're still going to be dealing with the winter and the summer energy. It's so very different. Virgo is known as the harvest season. Uh, it's known as the, the end of summer, returning to school, returning to, to work in so many ways. And Aquarius is the time of conservation, the time of, of great coldness, and hence why there's such a, a coldness in the, the psychology, or at least in the, the, the overall approach to life. And I know this, this uh, changes with the hemispheres, but just speaking to the Northern Hemisphere having so much more land and so many more people. And again, as I said, in so many, not more important than the Southern Hemisphere, but I, it's very interesting to see how the energies correspond with the, the weather cycles and the seasons up in the Northern Hemisphere. So we have two signs that are very different. And, um, and yet, again, with solid bonds. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, one of my best friends is a Virgo. And I really, really enjoy, uh, I just realized one of my father's best friends is Virgo as well. Aquarians find it so refreshing with Virgos that there's finally somebody who's able to, to speak their truth. Us Aquarians are obsessed with the truth. We are obsessed with, all air signs are, but being that we are the fixed air, Aquarians live and die for the truth, hence why so many Aquarians have been found to be revolutionaries, Lord Byron for example. Um, so many more, I believe Thomas Paine was an Aquarius. Uh, it's just in our nature to live, breathe, bleed and die for the truth, as, as true as a truth that we can find. And so we get kind of tired of dealing with people who aren't willing to put their money where their mouth is who aren't it's it's not even about sharing the perspective but even having the perspective to deal to begin with it's not a lot of energies that think about the things indeed there's no other energy that thinks about the things that Aquarians do um, and that goes for every that every sun sign truly but Aquarians being so off the wall and intellectual and random 
we we tend to think about so much that other people just don't even begin to think about. And um, what's really nice is, and especially in relations to humanity, and to the world and society, and it could run the gamut from science to, to art. There's so many artful Aquarians, like John Williams, for example, uh, Johnny Rotten, so many others. To, again, to public office, Aquarians, we, um, we're very versatile, but the thing that really bonds us is, again, that love of truth and that utmost dedication to the truth. And again, that allows us to be able to, to say how we feel and not try and play any kind of emotional games, like for example, a water sign might, or not get wrapped up in our ego as a, uh, a fire sign might. Or in the case of Capricorn and Taurus, just be around somebody who doesn't think about these things and aren't, isn't really that interested. Maybe the Capricorn's a bit more interested, maybe the Taurus is interested to a certain extent, but Aquarius, we can get really lonely, ironically, I mean, when it comes to the mind. As independent as we are, as, as individualistic, it's we're really hard-pressed to find somebody that really gets us, or at least gets enough to appreciate us. And that's what's something that's, that's really nice with Virgo, is they are so refreshing for us because they're able to get us if they, if they really take the time to. And it doesn't take a lot of time for Virgos to understand Aquarius. Sometimes it's instantaneous, especially if those partner signs are at play. But in general, there's a natural bond between these two energies of just truthfulness. Because, and, and Virgo really is, is stimulated. Uh, there, there's stimulation back and forth, but it's, it's really nice for Virgo to be around somebody who is so dedicated towards their truth and their life. Uh, being helpful to the whole. Virgo is such a humble sign they can really surround themselves with people that really don't necessarily bring out the best in Virgo. That Virgo is kind of a, a small, you know, a big fish in a small pond in that way. And they're so much more, they're, they're, they're so much more capable than that. They really are. And indeed, it's not even that they necessarily realize that they're in that small pond um, until they meet in Aquarius and they start to realize, oh, I do care about global warming. I do care about corruption in our politics. I, I am a person. I can say and do things to make things, these things better. I can make our, I, I have capabilities. In fact, I have a ton of capabilities. And I can really put them to good use. That's where an Aquarius perspective really comes in and helps the Virgo. And um, on the on the flip side, that's the the Virgo in bluntness and truthfulness. Even if sometimes it wrinkles Aquarius, or it, you know, Aquarius is laughing on the inside because they're just like, how how did you think that was okay to say? Like that was so blunt, so cutting. Sometimes even so bitchy, male or female doesn't matter. But. At the end of the day, Aquarius is really, if, again, if the Virgo is coming from a good place psychologically, if they're not just going, oh, life sucks, everything's imperfect, I, I hate everything, if they're not coming from that perspective, you know, that's a very low vibration indeed. If you're coming from that higher place of, yes, I'm a very critical person, but that's one of the best things about me, and I care. I don't just blindly throw around my criticism. I really do care, and I'm trying to help then Aquarius appreciates that. And even if they have disagreements, and they will, um, ultimately, those disagreements really lead to agreements in a lot of ways. And and even if they didn't, if there is some solid disagreements, that's okay, because these two energies just appreciate the mutual ability to talk, to not have any bullshit in the way, and to not be playing any games. That's something that's really nice between these two energies. Now, if the Aquarius, again, is coming from a lower level and they have a lot of Pisces, especially with Mercury and Pisces, I find, they can be a little bit deceitful and duplicitous, and that's something that's really important to keep in mind. Um, again, at their best, these two energies have no bullshit between them. They have no pretensions. They're just able to talk and really to communicate with each other. Uh, in their challenging phases, there's all sorts of challenges which we've enumerated already. Just to wrap this up, I, I see Teresa every week, um, 
she's just one of my best friends. It's so great to hang out with her, and, and she helps me with her mastery of tarot. She she helps me understand my life, the world, and um, you know I, I try and help with my perspective wherever possible. It's really cool because she's taking a, a much more mentor role of approach in our friendship, but uh, ultimately we just meet up to, to hang out and you know even though she does it as a business uh, I, I haven't been able to pay her but I also I've just we, we've been friends and as she said it's totally cool that we just hang out and it's just really nice to meet such a capable thoughtful selfless person and though I'm certainly uh, you know as as truly just helpful as she's been without any thought to herself just such a great wonderful virgo in that way and she's really helped me with her skills again through tarot through i, I really appreciate her astrological perspective that i ask for sometimes um just her advice it it's so wonderful and as you know my aquarian dedication to not just the truth but what's right i, I really look forward to in the future doing more videos with her and then just giving her all the ad revenue because i'm just so grateful and in this in this pairing of sun signs whether whatever the dynamic may be these two energies really impact each other in beautiful ways and they're capable of being such great friends and um, if they just work over those those misunderstandings between them and if they both are not so quick to jump to conclusions and this is a bit more Aquarius and Virgo, but Virgo can be a bit finicky, uh, just speaking to the general sun signs again, not necessarily me and Teresa. Virgo's, you know, Aquarius can, as, a, as all air signs can, Aquarius can be very superficial sometimes and only see, well, the surface. And um, a bit of patience and follow through would be really helpful. And this gets easier as time goes on for, for both signs, for all signs, really especially Aquarius, we're able to be a bit more focused and realize, oh, no, 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 There's, just be patient, just be patient. There's a reason why uh, the nitpickiness is going on. Or there's there's something deeper there. There's a, a core of good, of good intentions. So that's, that's worth looking past. That's worth being tolerant of. Even though sometimes I should stand up for myself. And um, the Virgo can... Uh, even though they're an earth sign, they can be a bit judgmental and they can jump to the conclusion of feeling like, oh, this Aquarius isn't worth my time, worth my time or they couldn't possibly be reliable. My, my point is this, is no matter how different you two may be, that is one, one of your greatest strengths as a pairing. And if you look past the different methods of collecting life experience and of interpreting it, you'll find a really valuable friend there, a very valuable perspective that sees things from a completely different angle. And again, going back to uh, me and Teresa, for example, I've been very honored to help her transition into the very Aquarian world of computers and the internet and whatnot. And I've been so honored to learn from her. And um, it's just such a cool friendship because, again, she she sees life from such a very different perspective that it. Sometimes I'll be thinking about, and I, I go with her. I go to her with my my utmost questions. I think about all the time about life. Um, and I'll be looking at something from a certain angle for a long time. Sometimes. And then I'll say, hey, this is what I've been thinking about. What, what do you see here? What, what's your perspective? And she comes at it from a completely different angle that is so helpful that it just feels like, duh. And that's something that's really nice and what we haven't talked about so far right, between these two energies is we have an air and an earth sign here. They're both logical. They're both seeking the truth in their own ways. Now, truth for an air sign is abstract. It's ideal. It's 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 through the mind whereas truth for an earth sign is through the body it's through the physical manifestation but still they're both searching for truth and they're both very logical step by step even though air signs can seem to go off in such random directions there are steps that are being taken that ultimately will be cohesive 
which is really surprising for the Virgo when they, again, see that Aquarius again when they've come back from their trip or figuratively speaking, they've come back from some kind of mental trip. They've gotten really obsessed about something, studied it to the utmost, and then they, they come back to their usual self. Maybe a little bit more wise or knowledgeable, but still, they are who they are. And to wrap up, really, that is the most special thing about these two energies, is as different as they can be, if they just work at understanding each other, it's, um, it's really incredible. If the earth sign lets the air sign be a little head in the clouds, and just, if they... They, they learn to appreciate, to open up to those air insights that will forever change their life. That makes things so much easier and that really helps understand people, helps understand their own behavior, their own psychology. That's where Aquarius excels. And on the other side, if Aquarius just lets Virgo be a little <laughs> nitpicky sometimes, but appreciates, lets, lets themselves appreciate how common sense and, and ingeniously so the Virgo in wisdom is which also changes the Aquarian's life for forever and just seems like oh both these energies will have so many oh duh moments with each other that this is such a special relationship that um, if you work over those differences it, it can't help but bring great things Namaste.